Today we are reviewing resumes again, but this time we are critiquing my own UX design resumes. I had five internships in the past, so we'll be reviewing five UX resumes that got me those internships. Hope you'll learn a thing or two from this video so that you can iterate on your next UX resume. Let's begin. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. You are watching this video, I'm guessing because you are working on your UX resume and you try to get some tips, tricks, best practices on that. Well, good news, I already have an ongoing playlist dedicated to writing better UX resumes. Check that out up here and link in the description. If you remember from my last video, I spent one minute critiquing one resume. Action. And that was Definitely not enough time. So for this video, I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes for each resume so we can get just a little bit more in detail and in depth in the pretty and the ugly. Just to make this video more fun, I'm going to start with some bonus content. Ta-da! Which was to look at my very, 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 very first resume back in 2013 to see how Hilarious, ridiculous, and unbelievable it was. So sit tight, get ready to soak in all the information, and let's dive right in. So as you can see, I have gone through my hard drive and sorted out all the resumes, all the different versions of resume from 2013 to 2020. So more than 50. The point is so many different iterations. So let's open up 2013, December 16th one. Ready? I'm so ready. Three. Two, one, action. All right, so let's see. Okay, my name, my portfolio link, my email, which see, I use the school email, Georgia Tech, okay? And um, of course, let's see, content-wise, objective, which is definitely not needed, but I have it. Well, you know, first resume, you have whatever you think that was right back then. And I think I'm smart enough that I put my uh, some of my content in orange font text and I think that means that is actually not real. My portfolio link is not ready, it's just a placeholder, minor in aerospace engineering, which funny enough I actually thought about doing it and I actually ha have taken classes on it. So I understand aerodynamics, angle of attack and all those interesting uh, aerospace jargon. And layout wise, right, I, learned, I aligned everything to the left side, have all the objective, education, experience, awards, skills, Related classes listed seems pretty okay. What I would say is the the length of the the content is a little bit too long, right? Too wide, so my eyes have to really go from end to end. So imagine I'm a recruiter, not ideal. And as a freshman in college, well, in an engineering school that has a design program, uh, I managed to actually think about okay, take some classes from UCLA to list it as related classes and skills, as you know, typical skills, and I already got some awards, which is nice. Vice President, Revenant Club, Education, literally, ha literally have no industry experience, no design-related experience. And uh, well, member of IDSA, IXD, again, clubs, not the most important thing, or not the most useful and relevant things. GPA, high enough-ish, I guess. Well, overall, uh, not too bad, right? Let me steal a little bit more time. The hierarchy could be better, you know, right? The, the title like Georgia Tech, Georgia Institute of Technology, that could be in bold or more separation, line spacing could, could have been better. But yeah, freshman resume. It's less embarrassing than I thought. Okay, moving on to next, which will be 2015, March 15. So that's the, I think this is the one that I applied to my very first internship at Microsoft. If you're interested in that video, Link up here. Three, two, one, action. All right, looking at this one, two years after, seems to be nicer, right? More content to fill in, which, which, which means I was growing, I was improving, great. First up, alignment. Well, I would say I block up the content pretty well. I created an entire block for my name and title, pretty big, and my website, my Georgia Tech email, my phone number down, uh, down there. I was gonna say downstairs, downstairs. 
and you know with this icon well and then moving on to my like, color slash branding style i'm pretty sure i was going off of the material design style you know this is the the fab the floating action button style on my resume we actually block up a lot of space so if i don't do that i probably could have more negative space more white space around my resume to do get a more roomy feel roomy atmosphere alignment wise it's pretty sharp just because of the the, the green block accent color block are bounding everything pretty well uh, but also the titles are aligned what i would say is because i'm indenting my content you see all this negative space floating around it's like jigsaw pieces that never got pieced together if i were to improve it i would have to ship them back hierarchy wise right uh, it's, it's clear it's better than the previous one the title is bold and then i have smaller text for the, the graduation date city and then italic font for uh, my major and minor and everything else is in the same style so i think the system it was it was pretty well constructed back then and content wise more to more to go right i have attended the summer school badminton club lg electronics while well, i had my first consultancy job good and other awards and involvement and workshop the the look of the resume could have been better um the content it's not too bad i feel like the company Mulesoft, the company who uh, extended the offer back then to me they kind of took a chance i'm guessing but i'm very thankful, very grateful that they took a chance um, so I can get to do my first internship and continue my design career. Some of the involvement, like the badminton club, I was designing logos, posters, and things like that. So some design work involved. By knowing what I know, if I were to travel back to 2015, could have involved more. Next, 2016. Three, two, one, action. So I think this is the one that I submitted to them. Pinterest product design some internship in 2016. First of all, visually speaking, I got rid of the material design, that blocky green with the fab style, which is great. So I have more white space, more negative space. For some reason, I kept the green accent color. I don't even like green as my accent color. My accent color is hot pink. So the green is a uh, red flag there. Spacing wise, the margin top um, is not the same as margin left, which is not good actually. So, but at, well, for the green, for the green, at least it's consistent. My name, this line, and the, the, the section title is consistent, right? And the, the line here, line here, got all the information, got my portfolio link up here, it's good. Education, uh, list some uh, useful classes, put emphasis, interactivity, motion, uh, GPA, IT GPA, high, high. Parsons, my summer school in 2014, experience. I, yes, I got into research, uh, research project with school. Uh, there's some motion, interaction work. Great involvement there. Now, Mulesoft, the internship, 2015, and this hackathon was also new. It was also happening during the Mulesoft internship in 2015. And again, two awards that nobody actually know about. Uh, the design, you know, standard design tools and some soft skills, uh, testing, programming languages. Decent, experience-wise. Just a side tangent note. Compare the, the visual design on my resume to the Pinterest design language or design standard. I think this is more like a stretch. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful that they also took a chance on me. I don't think I disappointed them. They, they wanted me back. It's just, there's some, never mind. Forget about that one. If you're interested in how I go into my Pinterest design internship, check that video up there. All right, time to move on to the next one. Do we? I should actually use this board. This is great. Red flag. I submitted this after I graduated from Georgia Tech in 2016, so around Christmas time in December 2016, between my undergrad and grad school, so that gap um, period. That's why this internship was in the spring of 2017. I actually don't think I submitted a resume, a PDF resume. This was on my website. That's why you see the my play, playground work resume about um, the navigation, navigation bar on the top. I think I sent them a link to my portfolio and then they would just look at the resume from there, I think. And uh, ready? Action. Since it's on web and for some reason it's stretched to two pages, which is, well, it's fine. Okay, let's, let's just go with that, right? The, the color-wise, I think huge improvement. This is the, the darker purple closer to the hot pink and the topography is a huge difference, I think. After my Pinterest internship, I really sharpened my topography skills. 
so that I really spend some time on sticking to topography, what font to use, and uh, really uh, craft on the hierarchy by changing the font weight, the font size, the, the font style. I think I put everything into a more linear order. Education, experience, so there's no more two columns. Everything is just on one read. I limited the width of the, the content, so it's easier to read because it's shorter. Experience-wise, Pinterest, that's right, after 2016, and then the research lab, um, I was doing actually two projects, which is good. Uh, quantum mechanics, again, I got a publication on that. Uh, IXDA, we talked about it. Mulesoft, the same. LG, the same. Uh, some projects, 2016, I did. I was working on animation, and then somehow it got featured on the Material Up website. The quantum mechanics research got some awards, which is great. My project got shortlisted for the IXDA awards. Core 77, Hackathon, same thing. Everything pretty much the same. Yeah, overall, good improvement on topography. It gives you a whole different vibe and I like it better. Real quick, just real quick. I know I'm cheating, just real quick. If you notice this hash and the bracket, I was uh, trying to make this as the CSS style. Pretty subtle style to, to frame my project. So everything is within brackets with that hashtag, uh, getting the ID from the HTML DOM element. Getting too technical. Next, this is the resume that I submitted to the Google Summer UX Design Internship in 2017. This is the one between my undergrad and grad school. And in between, I actually have two internships. One is Zynga, which I just talked about, and this one is Google. So they happened back to back in 2017. One is in spring, one is in summer, okay? Three, two, one, action. Accent color, branding, style, same thing. Topography wise, same thing, and for some reason, I still have two pages. I'm pretty sure I submitted one page. I must have cut down some information. But this is one that is more, the most comprehensive one in terms of documenting everything. So education, CCA, California College of the Arts. I actually did not end up going there. I got accepted. Generally speaking, you need to be going back to school for an internship. So I put that. Uh, Georgia Tech, same thing. Nothing changed. Parsons, summer school. Yeah, the experience, I added the Zynga one in and play with a little bit of humor there. Design and ship, motion ads, cross, strike through, delightful annoyances. The research lab, assistant, Pinterest. Okay, we arrange the research labs, break it down into two. Millsoft, okay, IDSA. Yeah, projects, I get rid of all the skills. It's great, right? Yeah, I, I basically blend all the awards and projects into projects, which is good, keeping things shorter. And a lot of negative space, but again, the text is a little smaller, right? A little smaller. Adjust this again, I would delete the indentation. Right amount of time. So yeah, over time from 2013, 15, 16, 17, more experience, more information to fill in. It's getting overloaded to two pages. So the next step will be to refine the information, cut it, leave what, leave the essential, the convincing, essential, related, relevant information, okay? So that means we are going to, oh yeah, no red flag for this one. Well, actually the red flag is the, the alignment, the indentation. So yeah, that was for the Google internship. If you want to find out more how I got into it, what tips I have for that internship application process, check that video out. All right, so last one, it was from 2018. This is one I applied to Waymo. Waymo was the, or Waymo used to be the Google self-driving car project. They spun out, they spun off to become an independent company called Waymo, just FYI. Ready, three, two, one, action. Only one page, great. Accent color, same. Style, the same. Uh, the dark purple, the hash, the hash and the bracket, CSS style, okay. Write a line, putting the, the, the city below the date, same style, or same font weight, font size as the, the title, uh, MFA, so this is actually updated. Art Center was actually the school that I went to for my uh, master's degree. All right, Georgia Tech, Parsons. Yeah, remember this IDXA, Interaction Design Association, Georgia Tech chapter. I folded it into my Georgia Tech section instead of and one of the experiences. Shuffled information around, could still work. And the Parsons, just really, clean one line, emphasis on typography, visual communication, and print design. Over time, I will just be keep refining the copy to make sure it's concise and to the point and specific. Well, Google Interaction Design, well, the, the new one from 
the, the last summer. Zynga, Pinterest, Musoft, LG, Research Lab. I think I cut down, yeah, I get rid of the, the home aware lab, aware home lab from the last one, so I only kept one. Over time, again, keep trimming information, just keep the excellent ones. Recognition, I change from project to recognition. This project, it got featured on A, B, C, and D. The, this project, actually speaking of which, Toro, if you're familiar, is actually a car rental services. They actually sent me a cease and desist letter. They're trying to suit me. Funny. Everything else? Yeah. Decent. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheating again, stealing more time. But again, red flag, indentation, making everything not aligned but more white space around it, good. The width of the information could be shortened so that it's more of a block. So the jigsaw piece, it doesn't have to be that wild. If I compare this, my 2018 applying to Waymo resume to 2013 freshman Justine having placeholder resume. Hmm, ooh. That's fun and informative, isn't it? I'm making all these UX resume videos and going in depth into what I have learned and experienced in the past so that I can pass that knowledge, the information to you and you can iterate on your resume with less trial and error. Resume writing seems daunting and complicated just by judging the number of videos I have in my channel. But you know what? Resume is actually the easy part. I start with that so that you can get the easy part right. The harder one, no surprise, it's portfolio, your UX design portfolio. And no surprise, I'm going to have UX design portfolio videos coming up on my channel. So just wait for them to show up. If you don't want to miss any of those UX design videos, make sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. But as for now, let's just focus on one thing and one thing only, perfect it, and it's actually easier that way. The next video, should be and will be my first resume that actually got my first full-time job in Silicon Valley at DoorDash. Well, it's public info, so I'm not going to hide anything. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers!